Well, I want to show this valve trombone mid 70s con 5g that i overhauled refinished and custom built a trigger for valve number three because they always uh play sharp there i guess and valve number one and um It's all set and ready to go. It's been lacquered and so it'll be just perfect. But yeah, this is um, a Con 5G valve trombone, like I mentioned, with trigger installations. So I have to custom bend this rod, make a rod, put a couple of swivels on, and then uh, a trumpet lever trigger to be extended and longer and sprung up and in the process of course I port the valve so that it allows that to close back up without building pressure and the way you port it is you drill right below there where it sits when it's at rest right in line with that port so the, the, the air as it comes in it doesn't compress but it vents out the bottom of the valve. If you understand this, you will understand that that's not causing any leak whatsoever. It's just allowing that pressure to escape when the valve is not engaged. This, if this valve isn't engaged, there's nothing going through that segment. And um, it's, uh, it's not gonna leak whatsoever. Common, common technique used to port valves, especially ones with long throw, because then you get this uh, quite a bit of build, pressure build. If I didn't have that port there, it would uh, not come back. It would probably come back to here and then slowly close, maybe. It's a little bit dry right now. I have to re lube it. There you go. Here is another example of a valve trombone. This one is not a 5G, but this is a Reynolds um, in which the customer, the same gentleman, who actually has a website called valvetrombonesareus.com and you can buy the various instruments that he has refinished and modified for better playability. Anyway, this is one an, I had to... Uh, modify the way I did the trigger on the third valve on this one because we have a very narrow opening in there extremely tight everything extremely tight not a lot of space so again we have a bent rod throw rod with swivels but I had to use straight stock to build the uh, lever and then put a hinge tube on it so that it would function. And I get real nice throw when I extend them out like that. And you can still hold it without getting in the way. See how your hand clears? And then the first one's pretty straightforward. There's not a lot of modification you have to do there. And, and then I modify or build my own for the third if it doesn't fit. And that's how it goes on the Reynolds. And again, the Reynolds Sorry about this. I'm doing this without a tripod. Uh, this, this valve is also ported. Quite a bit larger valve. It's ported so that the, the vacuum doesn't build up in the third slide tube, just like I do on the cons. But this one turned out super nice. The bell we did in nickel plate and then lacquered it. And that turned out really super. And we always put an Amato water key on the third slide so it dumps easy and removes the water. A nice, beautiful, refinished, overhauled 1960s, I believe, might be 70s, but uh, Reynolds valve trombone. Very nice. Uh, here we have a 1958 Con 5G valve trombone that I completely refinished, overhauled, re-lacquered. 
This was also done with customizations to the first and third slide triggers. Here we installed a first slide trigger for tunability using the first valve and the third slide trigger so you can get a nice long throw on that uh, with the um, using the third valve to get proper tuning. It is said that Bob Brookmeyer would have an extension put on this and then he would have a trigger put on top of that. So evidently these played a little bit on the um, sharp side so tuning it would be more out there um, but really kicking it out even further is the way to go so with doing the trigger on the third valve because it's got such a long throw because of the way I design and make the lever we have to port the valve so that the air doesn't lock up in there and create a vacuum which you don't don't want. So what happens is when the trigger is depressed with or without that, let's say you played the note and then you let off the valve and then this came back in, the, the air is just traveling straight through. It doesn't go through this bit of tubing, but with that engaged it would go through that tubing. So anyway, the air is venting out then through and down that tube like I described on the other uh, Reynolds trombone. Anyway, the Con 5G 1958 should be a nice sweet horn.